Well, so, Griffin, what, what was it like to play on a dry day and, and be able to kind of play normal <laughs> golf again? It was, it was awesome. I mean, yesterday we kind of got a little bit of the break in the weather. The morning guys got it worse, but it still wasn't all that fun. Um, so yeah, conditions were definitely a little bit better today. Um, course is still tough, so it's a, it's a good test. I think it, everyone could understand why the scores weren't fantastic yesterday, but you've got by far the lowest score in the second round. What is it about the course today that's making it tough to score? It's just so hard to score if you're not in the fairway today. Um, I mean, the rough is long. There's a lot of bunkers, hazards, trees. So if you're not putting the ball in the fairway, it's going to be tricky. Um, and, you know, I didn't do a great job of that today, but I was able to scramble when I was out of position. Um, so I'm happy with it. Did you have a, several good par saves then to keep the run going? Yeah, I chipped it really well today, made some putts. Um, so that was probably the key to my round. Got some good up and downs and then made a couple longish putts for birdie in the middle of the round to kind of get, get it going. What's been uh, the schedule between Latin America and now and how have you kind of maintained that edge? Uh, so I haven't done a ton. I played the Colorado Open a few weeks ago, didn't play great. Um, and then I did a Corn Ferry Monday out in Nebraska a few weeks ago. Played okay, but I mean, I shot five under and missed by four. So <laughs> it's just welcome it, to the real world, yeah, right? It is what it is. But yeah, so it's starting to pick back up in terms of preparation for Q School here. How is that going to change for you guys with that being PGA Tour based this year? And and what walk us through the process of how you want to or where you want to get to and how this new process changes or doesn't change anything. So for me, it doesn't change a ton. I mean, really, the only thing that changes will be there. There'll be a lot more quality players playing at final stage to try to get that PGA Tour card. Um, but for me, I mean, I still start at first stage here in a couple months. So, I mean, obviously the goal is to make it to final stage and then, you know, hopefully get Corn Ferry status. And, you know, if I play really well, maybe get PGA Tour status. What is it like coming back here, you know, taking advantage of the opportunity to be in another state open, you know, and again, fill that competitive void? It, I like it a lot. I mean, I've, I've only played this tournament once before, but I think it's a really good tournament because it's a good test of golf. And, you know, I always love coming back to Wisconsin. You know, this was the qualifier a couple weeks ago was the first time I'd been back since I graduated. So wow. it kind of bring back some good memories and good vibes here in the state. You were at Nakoma for that? Yeah. That was a, almost like a state open in itself. The, the, the scores were low on a tough course and a lot of, you know, the cream rose there, it seemed like. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Oh. Played there a little bit during college, so I was definitely comfortable with the golf course out there. Um, but yeah, it was it was fun. I'm glad to be glad to be here. So, how much fun playing with this guy today? <laughs> yeah, it's all, it's awesome. It definitely <laughs> helps helps relax us us uh, both. I mean, roommate for a year, teammate for two, so we're still really close friends. So it was it was good. It's actually funny. I was paired with Sam Anderson the first two days at the Colorado Open, so oh, I've wow. kind of got a taste <laughs> of that from both of these tournaments. And what about the? No one really knows what. The, the next two days or the next yeah, two, what day holds yeah how much golf they get done um could be 18 could be th you know 36 tomorrow yeah how do you condition yourself for you know going after whatever is left uh, i'm hoping we can get 72 in i mean i think obviously we'll have to get quite a bit of golf in this afternoon wave today to make that possible um, i'm hoping for 72 give myself a little bit more holes to catch up to to harry here um but if it's only 18 you know i just kind of got to go out there mindset of nothing to lose just try to make some birdies and see what happens kind of like a monday qualifier yep exactly <laughs> <laughs> all right thanks griffin